If we're moving a convex bone, which is the talus, talus would have to come up and, and top of position would be anterior. So we have two options for this one. Option one is that we leave her in this exact same position that we had for improving dorsiflexion. Slide back just like this one, this much. Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay, so then I can stabilize the tip bib with this hand. This hand's going to go on the talus. We find the talus the exact same way. Web space goes on the talus. Three fingers pull her foot up into that. What's my loose pack position? Ten degrees. Ten degrees of plantar flexion. Okay. Of plantar flexion, right? Okay. So then I can do my grade one traction, but now I have to pull the talus anteriorly. Okay. And so that is option number one. Option number two, flip on your stomach. Okay, for this one, we are going to do a figure four because then that usually straightens out this leg more as opposed to leaving both legs down. My loose pack position is still, well, that's a nice pop. My loose pack position is still gonna be 10 degrees of plantar flexion, which is gonna be about here. But now instead of pushing through the talus, we're really pushing through the calcaneus on the back side. So I'm still going to do an anterior glide. I'm stabilizing tip fit with this hand. Now with this hand, I'm just going to push straight through. But because we're at that 10 degrees of plantar flexion and we have to stay parallel with the treatment plane, it's not that I'm pushing straight down this way. I'm almost pushing a little bit more at the angle that the foot's going. Okay. So I'm going to be here. Good, relax. Grade one traction and then I'm pushing through the foot, through the back side, still creating that anterior glide. Both you can be successful on. It just depends on preference. For me, I like grip, just gripping the talus and be able to pull, so I usually I do supine, but this one works fine too, just preference, okay? So try both of those out.